Oh, f you. F you. You know better than that. Thank you all so much. I don't think I forgot anyone, but I might have forgotten underwear. Bye. A new drama is brewing in the Cyrus family, and of course we are here to cover it. What did the famous Billy Ray Cyrus call his ex-wife that made everyone's head turn with shock? Watch more to find out. Billy Ray Cyrus, a well-known country singer, made headlines because of his crude language against his ex-wives Tish Cyrus and Fyro Cyrus, as a news outlet obtained shocking leaked audio clips and texts. In one of the jaw-dropping recordings, the achy-breaky heart singer appears to lash out at his second wife, Tish, with whom he shares three children, including music superstar Miley Cyrus, for having two children before they got married in 1993. The other two children that were there, she was impregnated by two different men and had those two children before she met Billy Ray. Billy Ray said, speaking of himself in the third person, just think if I said that. The truth, Brandy, Cyrus, Trace, Cyrus, he adds, before concluding, everyone knows devil's a it seems the devil and skank he was referring to was Tish, as we also obtained a copy of a text message Billy Ray sent manager Scott Adkins, in which he used similar verbiage to slam his ex-wife. Somebody went on a podcast to promote their podcast and came off like, sorry I'm drunk, and accidentally told the truth for a change, he wrote. It's in her own words. She is a liar. She is a and a cheat. Complete scum of the earth, a fraud, makes Deanna Lohan look like Mother Teresa. Nearly two years after Tish divorced Billy Ray in April 2022, the music manager appeared on the Call Her Daddy podcast and confessed she had a psychological breakdown when her marriage fell apart. Our marriage had not been in a good place for a long time, and I think I did stay so long out of fear, literal fear, of being alone, Tish said during an episode released in February. I was just looking at myself and going, what in the heck are you doing? And so I literally just just had made that firm decision and was like, I'm moving on with my life. In a separate audio clip of Billy Ray that a news outlet obtained, he could be heard arguing with Fire Rose, 35 years of age, about running late and calling her an idiot. No, f you, f you, you know better than that. Get the f out of here, he says. I'm in no place to go do a show. I had to go when I was ready to go. A source told the news outlet that the couple was fighting because Fire Rose allegedly did not let Billy Ray perform with Nicki Minaj after the rapper invited him to join her on her Tennessee tour stop. Billy Ray tells the planned singer in the audio clip, if you would have just shut the up, if you would have just left it the alone, now I'm really pissed. When Fire Rose begins to apologize, the she's not crying anymore singer continues to berate her, saying she will not listen. This ain't about your surgery. This ain't about nothing. This is about you being a selfish he adds. I don't think you're real smart. I've changed my damn mind on that Billy Ray then reiterates, what you are is a selfish before accusing Fire Rose of walking all over him. When the Time singer calls him out for screaming at her, he replies, this would not be happening if you were to just shut your mouth. I will not tolerate that you just up. Despite the disagreement, an insider told Page Six of Billy Ray, he was never violent with her. He was just pissed off. He never references his daughters. He never references his family. Since then, the Australian singer has publicly accused the volatile country crooner of domestic abuse. She claimed in court docs filed in June that Billy Ray exposed her to extreme verbal, emotional, and psychological abuse as a result of his alleged persistent drug use. Billy Ray vehemently denied those allegations via a separate filing, however, claiming Fire Rose was the one who abused him. He did admit to becoming vocal, frustrated, and angry in a May 2024 argument. Fire Rose further detailed the alleged abuse she experienced at the hands of her estranged husband in an exclusive interview with the news outlet Page Six. Billy had very strict rules, she told them in June. I didn't have a car. I was only allowed to go to the local chiropractor and allowed once a month to get my nails done. It was systematic isolation, and I couldn't find the courage to leave. However, Billy Ray himself took to social media Wednesday to admit to losing his temper with Fire Rose. Hell yeah, I was at my wits end, he wrote via his Instagram story. As every day went by, I started realizing something was wrong. And that's before I knew she was a fraud. I just knew something wasn't right. Billy Ray's attorneys also exclusively told Page Six, 
that they believe FireRose released the audio as a last-ditch effort to squeeze money out of their client. Mr. Cyrus previously admitted in a court filing that he had been very vocally frustrated and angry with Ms. Hodges during their seven-month marriage, as he began to uncover more and more of Ms. Hodges' true motives for marrying him. Rose Palermo and Jason Talley of Cheatham Palermo and Garrett told us, With regards to this recording, Ms. Hodges is the person who made the recording without telling Mr. Cyrus that she was recording him, they continued. Of course, she was intentionally on her best behavior since she knew the recording was being made. His lawyers claim Fire Rose tried to sway the court of public opinion by allegedly releasing the one-sided recording. Unfortunately, Ms. Hodges is attempting to litigate her case in the press for her own personal gain and in an attempt to harm our client's long-standing career, as she promised she would do if he tried to divorce her, which Mr. Cyrus alleged in a previous court filing, they added. At this point, Ms. Hodges has played her last card while Mr. Cyrus, on the other hand, has much more material to present to the court to demonstrate the lies that she made public throughout these proceedings. During this public meltdown, Miley Cyrus did not back off from expressing her feelings regarding the issue, and quite exclusively took clear sides. When she accepted the award for record of the year at the Grammys in February, she noticeably excluded Billy Ray from her speech, only thanking her mom, sister, love, and stylists. I don't think I forgot anyone, but I might have forgotten underwear. Bye, she added at the time. Thank you all so much much. I don't think I forgot anyone, but I might have forgotten underwear. Bye! In a recent interview on David Letterman's My Next Guest Needs No Introduction, the Wrecking Ball singer said she inherited the narcissism from Billy Ray. She also called Tish her hero at the time. I'm grateful for being able to watch him ahead of me. He's almost like giving me this map. And there is a map of what to do and what not to do. An exclusive insider gave further insight into what exactly ignited the fight in the first place by stating, he was really excited about it and couldn't wait for the opportunity, the insider shares. But Fire Rose didn't want him to take the offer because the next morning she had a meeting that she wanted him to attend with her and she wanted them to get a good night's sleep. Billy promised Fire Rose he would be home early, but she allegedly wasn't happy about the situation. She started a fight with Billy Ray and even got physical hitting him. Billy eventually gave in and agreed not to perform at the Nikki concert, the source claimed. He wanted to cool off, and so he decided to go sleep out in a cabin in the backyard of their Tennessee home, which he also uses as his music room. A second source denied that Fire Rose was responsible for any sort of physical violence in their relationship. It's unfortunate that the real abuser continues to spin his story, the insider claimed. These allegations from him came out after she shared her truth in early filings, which then caused his story to to grow and evolve. According to the first insider, their argument mentioned before escalated and Cyrus's comments were a result of his frustration, adding, Fire Rose was upset. He did that, so she started recording on her phone and picked the lock of the cabin, which is when the audio can be heard of him going off on her. It had just become too much at that point. He isn't proud of the things he said, but she had just pushed him past his boiling point. Who do you think is wrong in this scenario? Billy or his ex-wives? Let us know in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.